Oh, yes. Oh, I see. Good news, everyone. So version three is complete. Um, I'm still doing a, a little bit of testing, but I'm pretty confident it's uh, uh, it's 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 done. It's it's ready. Um, so there's a couple of things I need to do uh, in regards to uh, my Patreon site, and uh, and I've changed tack just a little bit. Um, I won't be charging for the software. Um, it will be available for download from the Patreon site. You do not need to pay to become a member in order to download the software. Um, I'm still trying to iron things out, but regardless, um, my Patreon site um, will be where you can download the software from uh, going forward. All right. So as I haven't actually packaged it up and put it on my Patreon site, and I certainly haven't provided a link to the Patreon site, that is the area in which I'm, I'm uh, going to be focusing on this coming weekend. All right. Um, but up until, up until now, obviously, I've been focusing on the um, version 3 build, making sure... Uh, the majority of the bugs that I've come across so far and some bugs that have been reported have been taken care of, plus the features that I've added um, are working as design. So um, just wanted to let you know that uh, I will continue to not charge for the software, all right? So um, if that was a concern, well, it's concern no more. So let's talk about version three. All right. Um, what have I done since the last video? Because it has been a month. <clears throat> uh, let's see. So as you can see, I've been playing around with some of the effects, the um, uh, rotation and CRT effects. Uh, just messing around with this really um but let's see if i go to pyramids and i'll go to the text filters list now we can preview the recent and favorites all right so if i go to playstation 2 we got favorites we got recents and then if you go into edit, now you can actually see what the highlighted game looks like or the highlight or selected item looks like. And whoops. And if I just click on favorite, and I've also changed the text. It says favorite games top, recent games bottom. That's because it's expected to be in that order. Favorite is supposed to be above recents. I've seen a couple of themes out there, or at least one theme out there, where it's the inverse. And uh, Big Box is expecting favorites to be on top and recents below. And then obviously when you use the cursor keys, it, it doesn't jive with the position of uh, these thumbnails. So... I wanted to make it absolutely clear that this is supposed to be on top and this is supposed to be on the bottom. Anyway, um, but that's not the big change. So again, styling is limited to border thickness, the quarter radius, um, the border color, the background. As you can see, I'm using uh, a gradient here. You know, if I were to kind of change this up, as you can see, um, obviously the border color, if I wanted to do something crazy like that, which doesn't look that bad, um, you can you can see that. And then obviously if you wanted to change the content, sc uh, content scale, you can do so, all right? Just so that you can see what this would look like with your collection. And Obviously, if you scroll up and down through the different platforms, if you have favorites or recents, 
um, it will display them. It will display them in exactly the same way as Big Box would display them. All right. Um, so, yeah, that that really, I just really wanted to kind of nail this uh, for those users that do actually use these thumbnails, um, that you actually get a, a true representation of what Big Box will display when you actually um, set the properties within the community theme creator. All right, so that was that. Let me come out. And then there was a, a bug that was reported by the uh, user that goes by the name of Papor, or Papor, um, on the Launchbox forum. Um, I need to switch. Let's see. I'll go to Thing Components. I believe it's here. And then what I'll do, I'll switch to Wheel Item Templates. Uh, I think it was the third from the end. And he had reported that if you leverage this opacity setting um, to, you know, like 50% when it's not selected, and then you flip this, toggle this switch here, the selected to not selected, it didn't do anything in preview, but the code that it constructs would would work um, when in big box. So I've got this working um, within uh, the editor. Okay, so that's all good. And then there was some performance changes. And obviously, as you can see, I, I ended up um, reworking the thumbnail um, logic so that we can get an accurate preview um, um, within the main screen, plus obviously a, a preview of uh, what the selected item would look like when you're in the editor. So there was a bit of, a bit of tweaking I had uh, done there um, and then um, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to degrade performance by uh, actually looking up favorites and recents per platform selection so it took a couple of iterations to get it right but you're not going to notice any kind of um, um, any negative uh, performance um, uh, any any negative performance hit uh, when you're running this stuff yourself, all right? So I think that was it. Uh, like I said, there were a few things kind of behind the scenes. I made some visual tweaks here and there, but nothing major for me to really cover. It was really the thumbnails, um, the animation system, where I think it was this one. So for example... Um, I have this ellipse, as you can see, I've got animation defined. Um, let's see, can I, I've got the animation here. I've got it based on a custom condition. Let's have a look at the conditions. I'm saying trigger this animation when favorite is true. All right. So we got one favorite. And what do I do? When this condition is true, I scale up the width and the height, the height and the width to 150%. Um, and then I drop it back down to uh, 100%. So basically, if I encounter a game that's tagged as favorite, it will expand and then contract back down to its original size. All right. So scroll down, fight night. There you go. Scroll down, scroll up. Did it do it? I wasn't paying attention. Yep. Um, let's see. If I go to... Uh, let's hit playlists. And I've got two favorites. Okay. That's cool. So that's one, two... Nothing. 
Nothing, nothing, nothing. Something. So there you go. So conditional, you know, conditional um, animations. Um, so I, again, you know, I was just testing this out, just making sure it was um, it was working just fine. Uh, preview, obviously, and within the editor, yeah, I must have missed it last time when I was. All right, maybe that's a a quick tweak. I need to make there. Yeah. Okay. So there's a there's a a delay between uh, selected versus active there. So I'll address that. But yeah, other than that, it's uh, it's good to go. So I've got uh, tomorrow to repair that, and then, like I said, this weekend I have the Patreon site to set up and then once i've done that then i'll shoot another video um and obviously with the links and whatnot um so you know where to grab this software all right so we're, t we're looking at like a couple of weeks out all right um whatever effort it's going to take for me to um uh, set up the patreon site and whatnot all right so anyway that's where we're at um i just wanted to give you an update like i said i know it's been a while um, and I know some of you have been curious as to what I was going to do when I initially mentioned that the software was going to be, uh, no longer free. Um, like I said, I've changed my mind on that anyway. Um, so two weeks, hopefully from now, um, I'll give you more information and, and obviously, um, uh, the, the, the link in order to download the new build. All right. Minus that bug. So until then, take care, everyone, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.